Hi. So uh, here Mr. Jay is with us, who is going to give a talk on our Discuss Agile Delhi 2019 conference. So Mr. Jay, so please can you share uh, what are you going to uh, uh, give uh, in a talk today uh, in the conference? Okay. So uh, my talk is uh, scaling or no scaling, a scum perspective. Uh, so in, in this uh, talk, basically, I'll be uh, telling the con uh, you know attendees of, of those uh, whoever choose to be in, on my track, mm -hmm. uh, basically answer uh, possible queries regarding the scaling, uh, okay. when is the right time to scale, okay. uh, whether you should scale or not. That, remain, that always remains a question. Mm -hmm because there are uh, teams there are um, who try to scale but then they fail because uh, uh, scaling is not is not a thing that should be done right away uh, there are pros and cons to it so first you need to have your uh, the basic scrum implemented correctly and uh, you should start seeing success from that implementation and then you should start thinking of uh, failure so basically there are a couple of uh, statements which come from jeff sutherland which i'll be uh, um, you know, which is f um, he has written in in, uh, in the Scrum Guide as well, and he usually talks about it during all uh, all his uh, you know uh, conferences and all. So those two statements I'll be uh, telling okay. that uh, you know when to scale, why to scale, okay. and then um, possibly take uh, the questions from from the audience as well. Obviously, they they'll be having a lot of questions yes. uh, when it comes to the scaling part. Yes. So what do you think, uh, what, uh, what, are the, what will be the people takeaways uh, from your talk? What do you think? Okay, so uh, people takeaways would be, uh, they would understand that uh, is there a need to scale and uh, whether the basic scrum implementation would be helpful for them to uh, you know, keep going. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, the organization thinks that yes, that the scaling is required, then what are the parameters? First, they need, uh, they need to do a self-assessment of their projects, of their organization, the kind of implementation they have. And once they get a result of that organization, then probably uh, go to the best framework which suits them rather than uh, you know reading a case study that, okay, this organization implemented Spotify model. So it worked them, but uh, that cannot work for me uh, because every framework and every organization are different. So, uh, you know, uh, those uh, those things also I've been discussing. Yes. So I just want to know, uh, what forced you to choose this topic? Uh, okay. Um, so the reason why I chose this topic because uh, the scaling part always remains a mystery now. Um, they, um, you know, people always think that it's always fine to just go for scaling right away on an aggressive manner. And then um, uh, there are times when they're bound to fail as well. Um, in fact, uh, my own uh, implementation, so we had safe implemented, uh, but then um, unfortunately, uh, after uh, you know, few months of implementation, the, we, we actually started uh, going on the decreasing side, and then most of the scale, uh, you know, that safe components were, uh, were done away, and they were only, like we were only doing the PI planning concept, and then we were doing the ART concept. That's the only two things which we had apart from the, all the other stuff was like uh, done away with. And that's not the correct implementation of SAFE. Uh, so now we have actually gone back to a basics. So this uh, case study as well, I'll be presenting in front of them, my own organization, which has restarted the transformation journey again. So we have uh, started a pilot project where we are uh, correcting the basic Scrum implementation first, mm -hmm. and then probably we'll be, uh, if, if this uh, team, um, gets good result. Mm -hmm. So based on this, we'll uh, try to scale it up. Uh, framework, we have not yet decided yet. Uh, but yes, scaling would be there. Uh, which framework? We really don't know. Mm -hmm. Or in fact, a question whether we are, uh, if we get a good amount of success for these teams, mm -hmm. probably we, we may not even scale. Mm -hmm. so, right. so these things also I'll be discussing this in that session. So apart from this uh, scaling part, mm -hmm. so anything else you want to share with us? Anything else? Uh, so I would actually like to thank uh, Eisenbridge for uh, you know inviting me as a speaker here. So this journey actually started with with Eisenbridge only, and uh, it's all uh, it's all about Saket uh, and me and this organization actually started this journey uh, literally the same time. Uh, 
uh, and uh, uh, with, with the kind of uh, sessions uh, Saket used to deliver uh, with all the, uh, you know, the journey which I had, that has uh, literally helped me. So I started being an attendee in, in the, this conference and now uh, I'm sitting here as a speaker in, in the same conference. So uh, it, it's, a, it, it's a good feeling and uh, I can see that yes, the path is growing. Okay, thank you very much. So thank you, uh, Jay, for uh, giving us your precious time thank you. and uh, sharing your knowledge and thoughts with us. Yeah, thank you.